This enchanting tale unfolds in a quaint village that had been home to Maria for her entire existence. Born and nurtured in this close-knit community, Maria had woven a life filled with love and warmth alongside her family. She was the heart of a small yet blissful family that cherished one another deeply, with her daughter Sophia being the apple of her eye. Over the years, the family's bond only grew stronger, nurturing countless cherished memories, Sophia, embodying the spirit of her upbringing blossomed into a young woman who embraced love, leading her down the aisle. However, destiny had its plans, and Sophia found herself relocating to a distant land due to her husband's occupational commitments, leaving her beloved parents behind. Despite the physical distance, the familial bond remained unshaken, with Maria and her husband bestowing their blessings upon Sophia, reassuring her of their well-being. Tragedy struck when Sophia's father succumbed to a grave illness, leaving Maria to tread. The path of life solo after four decades of companionship, in the face of solitude, Sophia extended a heartfelt plea to Maria, urging her to forge a new chapter alongside her, yet, Maria's roots ran deep within the village, compelling her to stay amidst the memories and community that had shaped her existence. Maria, revered for her years of dedication as a teacher, found solace and support within the village especially from Dimitri, a former student-turned-hunter, Dimitri's visits were a beacon of care, ensuring Maria's well-being and lending a hand whenever the need arose. His hunting expeditions often resulted in generous shares of his bounty, strengthening the bonds of friendship and community. An unexpected twist of fate presented itself when Dimitri, brimming with excitement, revealed a surprise for Maria four tiny puppies, discovered abandoned in the forest, unbeknownst to Maria. These were no ordinary puppies but wolf cubs, yet, her heart swelled with compassion, and she welcomed them into her home. Envisioning a newfound companionship, Maria's days were soon filled with the joy and chaos that the puppies brought along, their presence breathing new life into her home. She lovingly named them Teddy, Scoundrel, Storm, and Screwtape, each name reflecting their unique personalities. However, as they grew, Maria began to notice peculiarities their size the sharpness of their teeth, and the unease they elicited from local dogs hinting at their true nature. The revelation was stark when a local hunter recognized the cubs for what they truly were, as he instinctively reached for his weapon. The village was on the brink of uncovering the truth about Maria's unconventional companions. This tale, set against the backdrop of a village steeped in warmth and community, weaves a narrative of love, loss, and the unexpected turns life can take reminding us of the profound bonds that can form between humans and the natural world, Maria intervened just in time to prevent a major misunderstanding, an unexpected revelation came from a hunter who visited Maria, an elderly woman, he informed her that the four puppies she had taken in and cared for were not ordinary dogs, but wild wolves, despite the shocking revelation, Maria's affection for her adopted wolf pups remained unshaken, she had never witnessed any sign of aggression from them, and her love for them was as strong as ever. Over the following year, the wolves, now fully grown, proved themselves to be loyal companions and protectors, guarding Maria's home with the same dedication as any domesticated dog would. As the seasons changed and the chill of autumn set in, Maria and her wolf companions found comfort in the warmth of her cozy home. However, an unexpected incident one cold night tested the bond between Maria and her wolves when three strangers appeared at her doorstep one of them brandishing a weapon and threatening Maria for her valuables, the situation escalated quickly, the sudden noise and sense of danger roused the wolves from their slumber, instinctively sensing Maria's peril, the wolves leapt into action, the wolves, named Screwtape, Scoundrel, Storm, and Teddy, launched a fierce defense against the intruders, while the first three engaged the attackers directly, Teddy positioned himself protectively in front of Maria, shielding her from harm, amid the chaos, Maria managed to slip away to call the police, but a gunshot soon broke the silence, signaling that the confrontation had taken a dire turn. Rushing back, Maria discovered Teddy injured, a bullet having struck his leg. The attackers, now terrified by the gunshot and the arrival of the police, attempted to flee but were promptly apprehended. Maria's immediate concern, however, was for Teddy's well-being. Thankfully, her care and attention over the following weeks ensured his recovery. The bravery displayed by the wolves became widely known, but for Maria, their heroic actions only deepened the bond they shared. Her love for them was unconditional, not influenced by their newfound fame. They were her family, and she was theirs, 
bound by love and loyalty. After watching this story, what do you think of? Then there isn't another story about Wolf. Let's expect what will happen. In the quiet solitude of the wilderness, Richard trudged wearily back to his cabin after days of exhausting prospecting. But his weariness was abruptly interrupted by a piercing howl of agony that pierced the tranquil atmosphere. Dropping his camping gear, Richard cautiously approached the source of the anguished cry. His curiosity peaked. Peering through the dense undergrowth, he beheld a sight that left him awestruck, a massive Alaskan timber wolf ensnared in a trap. The formidable creature, easily weighing a hundred pounds, struggled futilely against its constraints before collapsing in defeat. Richard's heart sank at the sight of the weary wolf, its once fierce demeanor now replaced by despondency. Determined to aid the suffering animal, Richard cautiously approached, mindful of the wolf's distressed state. However, as he drew nearer, the wolf's agitation grew, its primal instincts urging it to defend itself. Sensing the danger, Richard reluctantly retreated, wary of provoking the frightened creature. Yet, amidst the tension, Richard made a startling discovery. The wolf was a mother, her teeth swollen with milk, a testament to the hungry mouths awaiting her return, the urgency of the situation weighed heavily on Richard's shoulders as he realized the precariousness of the pup's predicament. The injured wolf's condition tugged at Richard's heartstrings. He knew that time was of the essence. If action wasn't taken swiftly, both the mother and her offspring faced dire consequences. With resolve hardening within him, Richard resolved not to abandon the vulnerable wolf to her fate. Contemplating his next move, Richard grappled with the daunting task of freeing the wolf from the trap without risking harm to himself. The wolf, weakened by pain and blood loss, lay motionless, her once fierce spirit subdued by suffering. Gently, Richard reached out to assess the extent of the wolf's injuries. His touch met with no resistance. The she-wolf, her strength depleted, lay inert, surrendering to the inevitable. With a sense of urgency gnawing at him, Richard knew that every moment mattered. He had to act swiftly to save the imperiled mother and her vulnerable offspring with the weight of urgency pressing upon him, Richard knew that decisive action was imperative. Hastily, he draped his sleeping bag over the she-wolf's head, enveloping her form to keep her contained while he worked to free her from the trap. Yet, his efforts were thwarted when the trap's release mechanism refused to yield, stubbornly resisting his attempts to unlock it. Undeterred by the setback, Richard resorted to striking the mechanism with a rock, relentlessly pounding until the trap finally relented and sprang open, with the she-wolf now liberated. Richard wasted no time in bundling her securely within the sleeping bag and setting off towards his cabin with determined strides. Though the journey was arduous, Richard's resolve propelled him forward, each step bringing him closer to safety and the means to tend to the injured wolf. Upon reaching his cabin, Richard laid the she-wolf by the hearth, the flickering flames casting a warm glow upon her shivering form, with practiced hands. Richard tended to her wounds, administering first aid and fashioning a splint to stabilize her broken leg. As he worked, a sense of urgency gripped him, driving him to ensure that every action he took was swift and precise. The she-wolf, her life hanging in the balance, began to show signs of recovery under Richard's care. Yet, mindful of the potential danger posed by her instinctual instincts, Richard administered a sedative to keep her calm and prevent any further harm. With the she-wolf now resting peacefully in a shed adjacent to his cabin, Richard turned his attention to the next crucial task, locating the den where the she-wolf's vulnerable pups awaited rescue. Armed with nothing but determination and his survival instincts, Richard set out into the wilderness, his senses keenly attuned to any signs that might lead him to the den. Though the task ahead was daunting, Richard drew upon his experience and training, methodically scouring the terrain for any trace of the wolf pups. Every footprint, every twig out of place, became a potential clue in his quest to locate the den and ensure the safety of the vulnerable pups. When Richard ventured deeper into the wilderness, the weight of responsibility rested heavy upon his shoulders. With each passing moment, the urgency of the situation grew, driving him to press on in his mission to rescue the helpless pups from the perilous grip of the Alaskan wilderness. He hastened his steps, propelled by urgency, yet a peculiar sight momentarily arrested his attention, drawing him back, concealed. From casual observation lay an entrance to a subterranean cavity, a hopeful indication that this might be the den he had tirelessly sought. The challenge now was coaxing the wolf pups to emerge. Instinct and training had taught them to remain sequestered until their mother's call beckoned. Despite the peril that such obedience might entail, Richard, 
fueled by determination, endeavored to imitate the maternal call of the wolves. His initial attempts were met with silence, undeterred. He persisted, but to no avail, the prospect of venturing into the den loomed as a daunting alternative. It was at this moment of contemplation that a diminutive wolf pup, driven by hunger, dared the unfamiliar without the assurance of its mother's call. Its emergence seemed to embolden its siblings, who soon ventured out, one after another, though small, their presence was undeniably that of burgeoning wolves. Aware of his incapacity to transport them individually, Richard meticulously arranged the pups in a bag, ensuring their comfort and safety, however, the possibility of an overlooked pup compelled him to investigate the den further, it was a risky endeavor, armed with nothing but a flashlight, yet the thought of abandoning a pup was intolerable, cautiously, he navigated the confines of the den, relieved to discover no pups left behind, with the bag of pups in tow, Richard embarked on the journey back to their mother, the surreal experience of carrying wolf pups weighed heavily on him, where they neared, the mother's howls, likely in response to her offspring's whimpers, filled the air, Richard meticulously released the pups, anxious about the mother's reaction to his scent on them, the reunion was a moment of trepidation, as he anxiously awaited the mother's acceptance, the sight of the mother wolf tenderly embracing her pups, recognizing them despite the foreign scent, moved Richard profoundly, she nursed them, a gesture that signaled not only acceptance but also relief. Though her leg bore the marks of injury, in that moment, the bond between the wild and the human was a poignant reminder of the interconnections in the natural world. Transcending the barriers between species, Richard faced a critical dilemma, the she-wolf's life hung in the balance, her leg ensnared in the trap, and the survival of her pups at stake. Swift action was imperative to prevent further harm and ensure their safety, recognizing the urgency of the situation, Richard knew he had to act quickly to address the she-wolf's immediate needs, with her trapped for an extended period, hunger and thirst would undoubtedly afflict her, in a stroke of resourcefulness, Richard recalled a spot where hunters stored meat in the ice, nature's cold storage, though intended for human use, Richard saw no choice but to appropriate some for the she-wolf and her hungry pups, with deft precision, he sliced off generous portions of meat and, piece by piece, offered them to the hungry she-wolf, the she wolf, though wary, accepted the food gratefully, her primal instincts overriding her apprehension towards Richard, sensing an opportunity to provide further aid, Richard also supplied water in a nearby bowl, ensuring the she-wolf remained hydrated amidst her ordeal, despite his efforts, Richard encountered resistance when attempting to inspect the she-wolf's injured leg, her instinctive response was to defend herself, a stark reminder of the wildness that still lay within her, undeterred. Richard persisted, understanding that building trust would be crucial in gaining her cooperation. As night descended, Richard positioned himself close to the she-wolf, using his sleeping bag as a barrier to protect himself while allowing the she-wolf to acclimate to his presence. It was a tenuous truce, but one born out of necessity for their mutual survival. The following morning brought an unexpected development. The wolf pups, emboldened by their newfound trust in Richard, frolicked around him. With uninhibited joy, their playful antics provided a brief respite from the gravity of their situation, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the uncertainty, yet, Richard's routine excursion for food and firewood would soon reveal a startling revelation. Returning home, he was met with a sight he never anticipated, his yard teeming with a pack of wolves, the sudden influx of visitors posed a new challenge, one that would test Richard's resourcefulness and resolve in ways he had never imagined. Richard had ventured into his backyard to find a surprising scene, the family of the injured she-wolf he had been caring for had apparently been searching for her and had now come to reunite, the sight of a pack of wolves in his own yard was utterly unexpected and initially struck fear into his heart, the wolf pups joyfully ran towards Richard, recognizing a familiar friend, but the adult wolves showed signs of aggression, baring their teeth and raising their fur in a threatening manner. However, the tense atmosphere dissolved when the she-wolf, whom Richard had assisted, issued a commanding bark, causing the rest of the pack to calm down instantly. Despite this, Richard decided it was best not to linger among the pack and quickly retreated to the safety of his cabin. Over the next few days, Richard observed that the she-wolf was gradually recovering. He was concerned about how to remove the splint from her leg, but she took matters into her own paws by gnawing it off herself. She was soon walking again, 
and it was clear that in time she would regain her full mobility. When the she-wolf gathered her pups and barked, signaling their departure, Richard felt a pang of sadness, wondering if their paths would ever cross again. To his surprise, that moment came sooner than anticipated. While Richard was lost in thought, the she-wolf appeared at his door, beckoning him to follow her. Despite the surreal nature of the situation, Richard grabbed his rifle and trailed behind her, the pups playfully weaving around his feet. They climbed a nearby mountain and arrived at a clearing where the rest of the pack awaited them. Although the presence of the full pack initially alarmed Richard, they paid him no mind, focusing instead on welcoming the she-wolf and her pups back into the fold. From a safe distance, Richard observed this heartwarming reunion, marveling at the serene beauty of the moment. It seemed as though the she-wolf wanted to show Richard that her family meant no harm, creating a peaceful, memorable experience that would stay with him for a long time. As it was time to part ways with the pack for good, Richard began his descent down the mountain. Glancing back, he noticed the she-wolf watching him leave, moved by the moment. He raised his hand in farewell, and in response, she howled, a poignant goodbye that seemed to echo with gratitude and connection. Her pups gathered around her, and as Richard took one last look, he felt a profound sense of closure and kinship with the wild family he had come to know. In the wilderness of Alaska, Richard experienced a profoundly mixed feeling of joy and sorrow when the wolves he had grown close to disappeared. This encounter left an indelible mark on him, making the rest of his stay in Alaska seem dulled by comparison. Yet, the pull of obligations and unresolved issues back home was too strong to ignore, and he reluctantly left Alaska's pristine beauty behind. Little did he know, a grimmer chapter awaited him as he was soon engulfed by the horrors of war, the stark contrast between the tranquility he knew among the wolves and the chaos of battlefields could not have been more pronounced, war demanded of Richard things he never imagined he was capable of, leaving him with scars both mental and physical, as he navigated through what seemed like an endless nightmare, the loss of comrades and the constant proximity to death haunted him, and during a particularly brutal attack, as a grenade hurled towards him, his thoughts flew to the Serene Alaskan landscapes and the wolves that had once been his companions, miraculously surviving the attack thanks to the timely intervention of fellow soldiers, Richard found himself battling not just for his life but for his sanity in the aftermath. His recovery was arduous, marked by the loss of friends and the challenge of overcoming serious injuries, yet, amidst the physical and emotional turmoil, the call of Alaska and the memory of the wolves provided a beacon of hope, determined to reclaim a semblance of peace, Richard returned to Alaska, to the very cabin in the wilderness that had once offered him solace, driven by an inexplicable pull towards the place where he had forged a unique bond with the she-wolf and her cubs, he embarked on a journey of self-discovery and healing, the mountains and forests of Alaska, so starkly different from the battlefields, seemed to offer him a chance at redemption and a new beginning, as he ventured to the spot that held so many memories. Overwhelmed by the aftermath of war and the pain of loss, Richard was on the brink of giving up. It was then, in his darkest moment, that a miraculous encounter occurred. A she-wolf, reminiscent of the one he had saved, appeared before him, her howl piercing the silence. In that howl, Richard found a connection, a reminder of life's resilience and beauty amidst despair. This unexpected meeting, whether a chance encounter or fate, offered Richard a glimmer of hope and a path towards healing symbolizing the profound bond between man and nature, and the possibility of finding solace in the wilderness even after the ravages of war, suddenly, for youthful wolves approached and positioned themselves beside her. These wolves, now matured, had grown up under the nurturing care of Richard, whose act of salvation had not only mended their own physical wounds but had also, in some measure, healed the deep emotional scars Richard bore from his experiences during the war. This act of kindness, had given him a newfound purpose, a beacon of light piercing through the encompassing darkness that threatened to consume him. In saving these wolves, Richard found that, in a beautiful twist of fate, they too had played a pivotal role in his own salvation. They offered him a tangible reminder of the goodness within him, a lifeline he could grasp whenever the shadows of his past sought to engulf him. This memory of their encounter stood as one of the most profound and cherished moments of his life a testament to the power of compassion and the unbreakable bonds formed through acts of kindness.